<coughs> the question is this find the order of this factor group so the question is z3 cross z5 over the subgroup formed by 0 cross z5 what is the order of z3 cross z5 over 0 cross z5 ok a bit, maybe this notation is not very familiar to you so I must explain a little bit what does a cross mean how do you find A cross B suppose I have a set let's say A is 1 and 2 B is A, B, C what is actually A cross B this is called Cartesian product of set so what does it do? It collect all the possible pairing from A to B. That means that this is a set contain what? 1 and A, one pair. 1 and B, one pair. 1 and C, one pair. Then 2 and A, 2 and B, 2 and C. This is the meaning of A cross B, Cartesian product of two sets. So all together, how many of them? They are all together six elements. Okay? So A cross B, how big is this? Six. Because all together, they are six of the pair. Next, we are going to understand what is how big is Z3 cross Z5? <coughs> How big is Z3 cross Z5? Z3 consists of 0, 1, 2. Z5 consists of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, Z3 cross Z5 How many how many pairs can you get? This one will give you 5 pairs You start with 0, you get 5 pairs Start with 1, you get another 5 pairs Start with 2, you get another 5 pairs 15 pairs Right? So the size of Z3 cross Z5 Alright, how big is this? It's 15 Now them Alright Now, let's try to understand how do you form the binary operation of this set. Okay, so for example, let's say I have two, three belong to Z3 cross Z5. I have 1, 4 also belong to Z3 cross Z5 How do I add them? You know, Z3 cross Z5 are 15, 15 pair So I pick the pair 2, 3 I pick the pair 1, 4 How do I add them? Very naturally I just take 2 plus 1 3 plus 4 Okay, just say Okay, the first pair First component, add the first component 
second component, add a second component. But remember, what does addition mean? The first one is inside Z3, so this is addition modulo 3. The second pair is inside Z5, so addition modulo 5. Right? So that this is equal to 0, 2. Still in Z3 cross Z5. So that it form a group. Okay? Now let's go back to the question. Okay? I have just explained to you how do you find the Cartesian product, how many, how many elements are there in the Cartesian product, how to add the order pair. Now, in this question, there is also a subgroup there. Let's see where is it. Okay, this one, right? There is a subgroup here. This one. You see the cross product there? So what does it mean? So go back and revise again. So you have this group. Zero cross Z5. So what do we expect? Zero is a set containing zero only. Z5 consists of zero, one, two, three, four. So this set consists of what? Zero, 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 one. 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4. Right? Cross product, Cartesian product, right? Because Z5, we know is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you do the all possible pairing. This is a subgroup. Happen to be a subgroup, you can check. I'm not going to check for you now. of Z3 cross Z5. Now, what is the question? The question is order of Z3 cross Z5 slash 0 cross Z5. What does the meaning order of this thing? Although this thing is formed by what? This is called a factor group. How does factor group form? Factor group are formed by co-set. So what are the co-set? Basically asking you how many co-set are there? In Z3 cross Z5. Right, because this is a factor group. How does a factor group come about? It has to do with coset. Use the subgroup from the coset, from the coset count kind of group table. This is what it means, a factor group. Do you still remember how to find the number of coset? Remember, last time, the number of coset of H in G is what called index of H in G. How do you calculate size of G over size of H, right? This is how you find how many distinct cosets you have. My G is Z3 cos Z5. My H is 0 cos Z5. The size of G is what? 15. The size of H, I showed you earlier, is 5. So, how many quotient are there? It's equal to size of G over size of H. 15 over 5, 3. That means there are only 3 distinct quotient. And there is answer you the one order of the group is 3. Okay, now can you write down all the possible codes? 
So I'm going to show you how to write down all the possible cosine. 50, all to get three of them only. So let's try to write down the cosine, right? So we start with h, which is 0, cross that 5. We know it consists of 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4. So one of the cosine is very easy one, 0, 0 plus h. Okay, 0, 0 plus h, because you must take something in G and h, right? So 0, 0 plus h, you get back the same, which is h here. You can look at another one, 1, 0 plus h. Do you get a different element now? 1, 0 plus h, you get 1, 0, but 0, 0, you get 1, 0. 1, 0 plus 0, 1 is 1, 1. 1, 0 plus 0, 2 is 1, 2. 1, 0 plus 0, 3 is 1, 3. 1, 0 plus 0, 4 is 1, 4. So this is an arco set. I can also do this. 2, 0 plus h. Okay, we get 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, <coughs> 2, 4. So these are the three distinct cosec here. These are three different ones. You may ask, can I do 1, 1 plus h? Yes, you can try. 1, 1 plus 0, 0 again. 1, 1. 1, 1 plus 0, 1 is 1, 2, or 1, 2, right? 1, 1, but 0, 2 is 1, 3. 1, 1, but 0, 4. 1, 3 is 1, 4. 1, 1, but 0, 4 is 1, 0. But look at this one. Is it the same as something you have already? You find that it's the same as this one. Agree? That's why you repeat. There are three different ones. 